I got a little getting even to do. Listen, 3.4 ladies and 96.6% gentlemen, just a month ago my female audience was under 1%. I don't know why it's growing, but God bless you for tolerating what an asshole like me has to say. Now I know you guys have a lot of questions. Some may be, Dark, what's worse than this real or fake thumbnail? Could it be Texas made it so teachers are not required to teach the things like Kappa 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 are morally wrong? You'd be right if you were not a comedian such as myself, but I found an even bigger travesty than that. Someone's trying to sell a dark side villain John Rambo signed copy of GoldenEye for a quarter million dollars, dude. Well, excuse me, sir, but if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure whatever has Phil's signature on it devalues, especially his credit score. Now, a lot of people in the detractor community think this is Phil trying to play 4D chess. Now, I don't know if Phil is that smart to do that, but when it comes to cashing in, Phil is quite the devious one. Now this is just conjecture at the moment, I can't prove this, but what sells me on this conspiracy is the item's description. Allow me to give you the pleasure of reading this beautiful monstrosity. This is your chance to purchase history. For sale is an autographed 07 game box by John Rambo and Darkseid Phil, aka DSP Gaming slash DSP. This is incredibly rare. John Rambo and DSP used to be friends until DSP ruined everything. DSP notoriously mistreated John Rambo for years. DSP read jo Rambo's private text messages on YouTube. DSP scolded Rambo like a school teacher on YouTube. And DSP seemed to only care about money. It was DSP's fault he lost Rambo as a friend. Now is your chance to own a piece of meme history. Please note, I would like to donate a portion of this sale to John Rambo. However, I will not send DSP any money from this sale. I repeat, I will not send any money to DSP from this sale. DSP doesn't deserve any of this money because he would just spend it on WWE champions. Additionally, to receiving the autographed game box by Rambo and DSP, you will receive a DSP autographed controller, a DSP autographed game case, and a DSP autographed instruction booklet. The game disc, unautographed, those items are included. Please note, price will only go up. John Rambo and DSP will never autograph another item together because DSP is a terrible human. This is your opportunity to own a piece of meme history. Please note, although this may seem like a joke, this auction is not a joke. This is a 100% real autographed item by both John Rambo and DSP, shipping via FedEx delivery within one business day and signature required. Jesus Christ. Now I have a question for the class. Comment down below and let me know if you would or would not spend a quarter million dollars on the DSP signed video game. Now think about it, because I'm going to show you what $250,000 could get you instead of that. You could buy a small business franchise, a parking lot, some kind of cheap airplane the Taliban used. You could have the best night of your life in a Vegas penthouse full of drugs and floozies. That's not my advice. Don't hold me responsible. Or a really, really nice house depending on where in the country you live. Or, hold on, you could use that money to buy something with DSP name on it. Honestly, it, it's such a hard decision. I mean, worth really is subjective, and, you know, I'm sure only iced coffee would buy it. This was a really bad analogy. This is not financial advice. Don't take it from me. Thank you. Now that I got that legal disclaimer out of the way of this not being a financial advice, we can continue on our journey. Not sure how reviewed tech USA fell from grace so bad that he spends his time fighting with DSP in the quartering, but, uh, review tech USA used to, uh, review products. Then he talked about how he had coffee with the catfishes years ago, and then I stopped watching his content because it wasn't engaging to my lizard brain. But he had this to say to DSP the other day, which is funny because DSP still has me blocked. I wish things were different, but it's time to face reality, man. Your time making a living on the internet is over. No amount of guilting your audience is going to change that. It's time to move on. Now, uh, one hand, uh, Richard from Review Tech USA is completely right, and on the other side, it's uh, completely fucking hilarious because I don't know if he's self-aware of the irony this tweet has. Each video he has averages between 30 and 60,000 views, so obviously he's still making a lot better money than DSP as ad revenue, but like, this dude has a million, nearly a million subscribers and is barely hitting 100,000 views a video. It's like, you're throwing stones through glass houses, man. But at the same time, who am I to throw shade? I mean, it's DSP of all people. At least Rich is doing it right. He's fucking, you know, actually getting money through fucking videos and not begging his audience, so... I can't throw too much shade at Review Tech USA if I'm gonna be honest here. 
I know this video was a little lackluster, but I just want to say I appreciate you all coming to, you know, check out my videos anytime I upload. It means more to me than I could ever convey because sentiment is not my strong suit. Now, if you didn't know already, I do have a second channel, so if you want to uh, go subscribe to that, there will be a, a uh, link down in the description. I got another video in the works for that channel coming up soon. But, uh, yeah, reviewing games and talking about them takes a hell of a lot longer and a lot more effort than just whatever I'm doing here. But, anyway, I appreciate all of you. Hope uh, somewhere in here I gave you a good laugh, and I will see you in the next one. As always, have a beautiful day.